Hello everyone. In this video, I'll uh, show you a small little trick to enable you to subtract the bending moment diagram from uh, the output of Abacus when you model the structure using the 3D solid elements. So I, I have here a, a structure, it's a frame. Uh, it's supposed to be two-dimensional frame, but for some reason, if you opted to model it as a 3D structure, so if we go to uh, to see the mesh here, so as you can see, each one of those is basically uh, a 3D uh, element. So let me go quickly through what, what I have. I will not spend much time on the preparation of the part and the meshing, etc. I assume that you know this already, <clears throat> but uh, I have for this uh, two types of materials that I created. So. Uh, for this particular frame, I'm assuming that I have <coughs> an elastic material. That's fine. So this material here uh, for the frame itself is uh, is elastic. Uh, and the part, like I said, is a 3D uh, uh, part uh, that uh, we mesh it using the 3D solid element. But what I have created here on the side is a flexible material. I'll just show you the difference between this elastic uh, but l let me give you the give you the hint beforehand so that you you understand what I'm doing. Basically, what I will do is I will embed into this frame uh, a wire frame uh, of beam elements, for which Abacus is familiar with producing the bending moment shear force, uh, normal force, etc. for uh, wire uh, elements. So I will embed into this frame the uh, wire frame but for this uh, additional fictitious fake frame that i will embed into uh, abacus i will uh, give it a very small stiffness so that it doesn't contribute to the performance uh, or to the behavior of the frame itself so this is why if we see elastic so i assume the here this is elastic material i'm using kilonewton meter here and uh, this is like 30 gigapascal <coughs> Uh, for this um, something close to concrete and uh, then there is another material if we see it here edit uh, and the, the elastic here uh, uh, is I am using only that's a 3000 kPa compared with the 30 uh, e to the power 6 that we used for the for the material so this is quite <coughs> uh, a very small fraction of the uh, stiffness of the, the the frame I am interested in. Then uh, what I would do, uh, I created a second part here. That second part, let's get to, get to this part two. So part two is basically that's a, a wire frame uh, made from uh, a wire elements. So for, you should be familiar with this if you were to create it. So you would say create part, and then you choose wire, uh, and it's 3D, and then you put your uh, <clears throat> approximate size and then you create it so you will end up with this kind of thing and if you see the property uh, you find that uh, this here edit so this frame already has been assigned uh, a section made from the flexible let me go and run a step back so if we see the sections so this is I call this flex section edit so I created a profile here because this is, a, this is a profile for the the beam section uh, that you uh, you consider here, which is this fake frame that we have embedded. Uh, so this is the profile that you you, ha you have to create. If you have not created it, uh, Abacus will enable you to create it using something like that. Uh, and then you choose the material. So the material I'm using is the, the flexible, which is a very small fraction could be one thousandth or one hundredth of the uh, stiffness of the main frame, and then you say you say okay. So with this, I uh, with this I have already created uh, assigned the material. Uh, so now this what I have I created uh, a fictitious frame, and in the assembly you will see the following. That's in the assembly. If we use this, uh, you, will, you will be able to see now I have embedded 
the frame i'm showing you this here by the material as you can see so you go here and you choose material so that you see the different colors so this uh, brownish thing here is the the frame that i created uh, uh, which <coughs> which if we see here, that's part two. So this is the frame that I have created. And uh, this is the, uh, the 3D structure that <coughs> I, I'm analyzing. So that's that's very, very critical uh, to do. And uh, for this, in between, I have created, I have created uh, a tie connection. Uh, if you see here, so this is constraint. One, edit, uh, and uh, then, I used the, uh, let me go back, the embedded region thing. So you embed uh, here, this is the embedded region, which is the frame, the f fake frame, the flexible frame that I have put. Uh, and uh, and the, the, <coughs> the region to embed in is the concrete. Uh, the, the purpose of the video is not to go through this. Uh, I assume that you, you already know how to uh, add constraints uh, into an abacus model and uh, uh, and uh, this is embedded region uh, so at this stage what I have is uh, that this is a frame uh, that I'm analyzing inside this frame I have embedded the fictitious or the fake very very flexible uh, it's like a piece of rubber kind of thing uh, into concrete uh, so I have embedded this and then I put constraints I between them so that <coughs> the uh, flexible frame the wire frame is embedded into the solid frame uh, at this stage the abacus will be a, will enable uh, the output of the frame the flexible frame to be shown as bending moment diagram uh, but there is something important uh, i created a step here uh, uh, but in the field output you need to make sure that uh, if you go to this one here because we have the wireframe, we need to make sure that the for the force <coughs> for the force reactions here, you go and you check this one here. This is the section forces and moments. Okay, uh, there is something important I should have mentioned, but let me go back to this part. Uh, that's part two. In part two, it is critical that uh, you show the orientation uh, of the. Uh, of the material so if we if we if we go here uh, that would be features uh, <coughs> sorry uh, that would be uh, the um, material orientation let us see here uh, assign material orientation this is what you do uh, or assign beam orientation in this particular case uh, because we have here wireframe <coughs> so if you if you if you do this and then you, you enable you enable the I have already done this before but you you choose your frame and then this will give you the directions uh, uh, for the approximate the normal direction for uh, for the frame so that it shows you uh, bending moment around axis one <coughs> bending moment around axis two bending moment around axis three and so on and so forth but it is critical here for the section itself uh, that's that's very important uh, if we go to the section profile, that's profile. In the profile here, for me to save myself the hassle, uh, uh, is to to choose the section of the beam to be circular, so that you know that the moment, uh, the inertia, moment of inertia around any axis, be it one or two, is going to be exactly the same. Obviously, for three, it's, gonna, it's a different. Uh, this would be the polar, would be two times <coughs> i one or i two, but that's uh, that's. You, you, you put here something uh, yeah, that's fictitious you can put here uh, 0 0.1 0 0.01 but it, it is critical for you uh, as I will explain later that you know what EI is uh, exactly for this frame so you will calculate EI uh, for the fictitious frame because after you calculate the bending moment using abacus you will have to uh, basically uh, uh, multiply this by the ratio of EI of the actual concrete frame that we are analyzing by EI that you have assumed for the flexible frame. So basically, you uh, you upgrade the value uh, 
uh, to reflect the same sort of deformation, uh, uh, or, or in other words, curvature, because <coughs> because the curvature is proportional to EI. So here, uh, very important that you use this one. Uh, if I were to create this from the beginning, let me go here, create this one here, and I choose the section. I'll choose the section to be circular, and then I'll, I will I will. Run. For the one that I have, uh, I don't know, I call it profile 2. Uh, let me do this, say, at point 0.1. It's not a big deal. Uh, so that's very important. And again, you, you assign here the material, so beam orientation. If you don't do it, uh, Abacus will ask you to do it. So this is telling you the uh, <coughs> directions of the, of the NUMA. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what this will do as well. You can you can choose this one here, also done, and uh, you use this thing here, and this gives you the uh, orientation as M1, and, and here is M2, and as you can see, you see for all of them, uh, uh, M, the the third axis is uh, out of the page for all of them. So you can you can do this. Uh, in the, the, as, as, as part of the material orientation. Uh, the load I'm using here, uh, I basically, if we, if we see the, uh, I basically, uh, I basically uh, pinned the bases here, the three bases, uh, fully pinned. Uh, and for the load itself, uh, I am applying just uh, just you can you can go here so <coughs> bring this thing uh, like that so i am applying just a vertical load here uh, because that's a static loading so i'm applying here this uh, pressure uh, along the top surface <coughs> of the frame uh, and then once you're happy uh, you just then do the job uh, you say submit and then the job will uh, let me see how long this will take shouldn't take <coughs> shouldn't take very long so you say run and it's 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 uh, the, the problem now is being <coughs> analyzed by i have a bit of cold excuse me uh, analyzing the frame and then I will show you in a minute how to get the bending moment diagram. Okay, the analysis here is completed. So right click here and they say results. Uh, so this is the results here. Uh, if we go, um, uh, let me let me bring everything to the to the default first so that default. Okay. And also the contours default. Okay, uh, so this is basically the frame, uh, and this is you. This is the displacement. Uh, let me just increase the scale a bit, so that we can, so that we can see the deformation nicely here. Uh, Actually, it should be that one here. So, option common and make this a bit uh, even 1000. Okay, so this how the, the frame will is deforming. Uh, like I said in the beginning, we are interested in the bending moment diagram. This how we do it. So, here because we asked Abacus to show the bending moment, so there is the section uh, shear force and the section moment here. So, this is a section moment. Obviously, for the concrete, Abacus is not going to show anything, but this is how you do it. Uh, we go to the materials, and then uh, the, the elastic material that this belongs to the uh, 3D solid material. I'm not interested in this. So right click here and say remove. So it should show you just the uh, flex, flexible material, which is a wire uh, a material we are using. Uh, and then that's SM1, that's SM2, SM3. Who are not very familiar with this as as uh, shapes, but this is how you do it. So we go to options. If you go to options, and then contours, uh, go to basic, make it line, and and show tick marks. Apply, you will see something coming. 
relatively nicely now and bring this to uh, discrete to two apply okay uh, for other to change just to this color here to something red so we are close enough so to see something we are relatively familiar with uh, for the color go to spectrum and make this uh, white to black and here you go oh, we are pretty much done if you want to show the limit limits here are the locations and you can even show this on the uh, on the form shape and, and that's that's basically the bending moment diagram for the frame this you see the values here are very 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 small see this field moment and then this negative moment here at the column interface what you will need to do is to take these values and multiply by the ratio of the stiffness of the actual frame uh, uh, and the uh, fake or the fictitious frame so th that so th if this is 1.265 10 to the power minus 4 you multiply by you multiply by ei concrete divided by ei this uh, fake material that we have used on this way you uh, you get the bending moment it's uh, it's a quite uh, handy useful and uh, it's not very big deal in terms of modeling but can save you a lot of time at least especially if uh, you are not interested in the values as as, as much but it is the uh, it is the um, um, qualitative uh, behavior you are interested in uh, the last thing perhaps before i go is uh, uh, if we go to the, the here the, this, the position of the frame obviously can will affect the values that you get for this particular one i opted to uh, basically put the frame at the center line of the other frame so the flexible frame the brown thing here i'm using it is uh, more or less within the center line of the various members of the actual frame I'm analyzing and hopefully you'll find this useful